It's known as the Cooks River, but long before Captain Cook landed on its shores, the river was a healthy waterway cared for by Aboriginal people. Today, not everything in the river is as beautiful as the life that it supports. Pollution is seen sitting on the surface or unseen lurking underneath the water. How does it all get there? Let's take a look at this miniature model of the Cooks. It begins near the river's upper reaches at the Yanabadu wetlands. See how it snakes through the suburbs until it meets the sea at Kamei. We're sprinkling pepper to represent litter and pouring food colouring to show other polluting liquids. Sometimes people litter directly into the river. At other times, rubbish that's not placed in the bin can find its way down to the water, whether it's left right next to the river or many streets away. Did you know that when it rains, loose rubbish on the ground gets picked up and carried away by the water? Down the street it rushes before being pushed into the nearest drain. Travelling underground through pipes, the litter flows straight into the Cooks River. But rubbish isn't the only kind of pollution that gets washed away in the river with the rain. Can you think of some others? Loose dirt from construction sites. Oil leaks on the street. Washing your car on the concrete. And even leaves from the trees. Fertilizers on grass. The rain clouds have passed and the impact on the river is clear. Can you imagine what the river might have looked like more than 250 years ago? Crystal clear water surrounded by lush green areas, plants, trees and bushland as far as the eye can see. In natural environment areas when it rains, the water is absorbed by plants and the soil. In most cities today, everywhere you look, there are hard surfaces. The streets we drive on, the footpaths we walk on, the homes we live in. Rain that falls here finds nowhere to soak in and travels to the river down drains, taking all the pollution it finds along the way with it. This is one of the biggest challenges facing the Cooks River. It simply can't cope with the polluted rainwater that flows in from the many suburbs around it. Have you seen the Cooks River after heavy rain? There are lots of great things we can do to help reduce the amount of polluted rainwater entering the Cooks. Rainwater tanks are one way of capturing water as a precious resource that can be reused for watering gardens, washing the car or flushing the toilet. Rain gardens in streets soak up rainwater and filter out pollutants. More plants in your backyard can help too. Even car parks can be redesigned with soft surfaces to allow the water to soak into the ground. Retaining barriers around construction sites are very important to trap loose sediment and rubbish. All along the river, different pollution traps stop all kinds of litter. You can help the river too by putting your rubbish in the bin. What else can you do in your home or school to help the river? Together we can help our much-loved Cooks River become healthier.